Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Thank you so, so much for being here and clicking on this video and giving it a watch. If you haven't already, please consider hitting that subscribe button and joining my YouTube family. Also, don't forget to hit that like button down below, leave a comment, oh, and hit that bell button because that notifies you every time I upload a video. So thank you so much for doing all those things. Today for you, I do have a Dollar Tree haul. It's no Valentine's Day stuff, I don't think, unless something kind of fell through the cracks, but it's a lot of this and that and just finds that I found that I wanted to share with you this week or weekend because this is Saturday Saturday so um yeah some good new finds and things that I was hoping to find and all that kind of stuff is what we got for you today um oh and snacks uh the end of it will be snack foods because my husband went with me and we do end up picking up more snacks when he's there so first of all in my thumbnail picture you saw baskets i picked up four of these it's what i have all my stuff in so i pulled one from the bottom one so i could put the stuff back into it and two because i wanted to share it with you these are awesome baskets i wish they had the size on there for you and i don't have a ruler but i mean this is such a good size basket my plan is in my laundry room, we have our second pantry, I guess you could call it. Our regular pantry isn't quite big enough. And so this is either, I'm gonna use them in the laundry room pantry, the laundry room, or the pantry pantry for storage. I just think that they are, they're good quality. They're um, just nice and big and they're decently even sized. You know, a lot of their baskets go from like a lot smaller in the bottom and like taper up, where these ones like are a decent, like they're almost the same size from top to bottom. So I picked up four of them because I just think that these will be so good and I like the gray because they match my house. They had them in the kind of mauve pink color they have, like the toned down kind of turquoise, turquoise mint kind of color, but it's like that muted kind of toned down one. And oh, I can't remember the fourth color, maybe a peachy color, but I could be wrong. Don't quote me on that. Um, but gray is just what matches the best in my house. So it's what I picked up. I love this year or this time of year when they put out their new baskets. I sometimes wish that they weren't always different and new because it'd be nice to be able to add on to your existing ones. Um, but there's still time. So we'll see in the spring what they bring out. So picked that up and now I'm going to use that to put my stuff in as I show you. I picked up this calendar. I don't have a calendar yet to put out. I usually get a beach one and I didn't. Unless did I pick one up? I might have picked one up earlier. Either way, I like this one a lot. It is one day at a time and it's got kind of like positive words on it for each month. So for, it looks like January, it should be love yourself and where you are right now. We have the hearts and the love for Valentine's or for February, I guess it's February, Valentine's Day is in the month. Um, we have Climb Every Mountain. Then we have The World Has Slowed So You Can Rediscover Yourself. Free Spirit, Hello Sunshine, Home Sweet Home, Be Kind, which is this one. I'm not even big into the bees, but I want to be more into the bees because I love all the stuff that they put out. Then we have the One Day at a Time, like the cover. Oh, Happy Day. Today's Good Mood is brought to you by coffee and you deserve great things. And a lot of these are things that I would cut out and just utilize for the picture like everyone does with the farmhouse calendars, but I'm not really into full on farmhouse. I still don't know what you'd call my aesthetic, but it's not like modern farmhouse, but it, I do touches of the farmhouse, but not too much. And it's not super modern, I don't know. I don't know what you would call my aesthetic, but I do love all of these very much. So I picked up this calendar. Um, because I liked it. They had the farmhousey ones that they have had, you know, that everyone loves, but I didn't pick any of those up because I didn't really have a use for them. Um, I also picked up, I don't know where to go, like everything's just kind of like on here. I picked up these. They are little Sesame Street socks. I mentioned before there is someone who I like to always buy this, well, two little someones that I always like to buy the Sesame Street stuff for. It's just so dear to my heart. One, I love the, the family. I just think it's a very sweet family that they have. And I used to love Sesame Street and all my kids are far, far grown from Sesame Street. So to have someone that I can spoil with Sesame Street stuff just makes me very, very happy. And so they had two different sets of socks. They have this set that's like a darker one. And it's got the Elmo, and I, not Elmo, I see Ernie, I see Cookie Monster. Oh, there's an Elmo right here, and like a guitar. And then this other side, that's also kind of like a darker set, and it has Elmo on it. And then this one's that are, these ones that are a little bit lighter with all the like little faces. And then we have Elmo with the orange. So there's little two packs of like little kid socks. I thought they were too cute, so those are going to be a 
kind of gift item for somebody. Um, wish list item. I found a pineapple light. I think they had this out last year, but I never found it. And I got the flamingo light. Now I have the pineapple light to go with it. So this one still had the little tag in it. Always watch for that because then you know that it hasn't been turned on yet. And it just lights up a cute little glow of a pineapple. So I had to pick that up. And because I love pineapples and flamingos for especially for the summer. I love them all the time. My phone case is still a flamingo all year round for the most part. But um, I liked those a lot. Or I like that a lot. So I had to pick it up. Uh, we always look at cars. I talked about being Hot Wheels people. So I have a Matchbox car and a Hot Wheel. I am not really specific to brand. I picked this one up because it is a cute little pink Mini Cooper. And I don't know. I have a couple ideas of who I want to give this to. One, Lorelai, because it's fun to get her kind of girlier cars because sometimes they all play cars. Or for my best friend, son Dylan, whose favorite color is pink and he loves cars. So one or the other will get this one. And it depends too if I find like a car for each of the kiddos, I'll add it into their Valentine's Day gift because that's something I always add in. And then I picked up this one and I cannot for the life of me remember if I picked this specific one up before for Braxton because he said, oh my gosh, you could do Legos on it. But I don't remember if it was this exact car. I can't remember, but it's Brick Rides. Um, build these brick racers the way you want, featuring movable parts to fuel your imagination. I think if I ask him to show me his Lego car, like he'd probably be able to show me the one that he already has because I can't remember if it's that one or not. Um, I picked this one up for Eric. I already hauled one of these before. It's going to go in his Valentine's Day gift, but they had only found one um, before, so I want to do like two because I think that that's a nice way to gift these. Um, it says, watch Smashers on TV on YouTube. Uh, so all the kids want to have their own channel and he would love to do something like that where he like does dinosaur stuff because that's his current current love. Eric is so funny. He is full fledged in whatever it is he loves. It was army for a while, full fledged 100% in that. Now it's dinosaurs. It's been the Titanic. And once he hones in on something, he's like 100% in and then he's completely out. It's not like still dabbling. It's like he's just over it. Can't keep up with that kid. Um, I found to add on, I picked up the pieces. Um, not the last haul, but I think maybe the haul before that. Some of the little fairy pieces of the summer set. And then I found like the little pieces that go with it. And so I found this one. It is a palm tree and a little luau. Lu what is the, the dance? Hula. A little hula girl. Oh my gosh, that was really hard to find in my brain. Um, but I really liked the palm tree with the surfboard and the little life thingy on it and then this one I like of course the flamingo and then it has like a turtle on a coral with a seashell so I picked that up so I'm going to do something with these probably like a tear tray with them when I decorate for summer and then this one's like a little small tiki bar I got the bigger tiki bar already but this one was cute it says it's island time and then it has the small little palm tree so I picked each of those up because how cute are those? And they go with that set. Um, I did haul this already once before and Melinda, she is my subby friend. We went shopping over the summer together. She said she had hoped that she would come across these. And so um, when I found another one, I picked it up for you, Melinda. So I have this for you. Let me know if you're looking for anything else because then that way I can ship you a couple things all in like one envelope. So I got this because I went to a different store. They had a huge display of them. And so I still don't know if it'll fit Eric. It is youth sizes, but they kind of fit like on top of my head. I don't know. So we'll see if it fits him. That's always a terrible idea when you have your hair done. So grabbed that. That was $20, by the way. In case you didn't see the haul before that I showed you, this was a $20 item, not at the Dollar Tree. And the cashier that was ringing me up was super confused when he saw that $20 on there. And he is like, oh, I don't know. And then he, I mean, he was kind of confused the whole time, but that really confused him. <laughs> and so it scanned $1.25. Um, I picked up a couple more of these. So these fit right on the bottom of your Swiffer wet jet. And so we changed the dog's cage. We messed up. We potty trained them that they were able to use a puppy pad and their old crate thing that we had set up. This like super horrible system. And so we're working on just full on potty training for outside, but it's been really cold and snowy. And so we have a puppy pad that we still put down for them and sometimes they miss. And now we put the puppy pad on a puppy pad stand and they don't want to use that. So now they have accidents on other spots. Much longer story. These fit perfectly on the bottom of my Swiffer wet jet that I'm 
really consistently using right now to clean up after my dogs because um, we're trying to retrain and and that's hard now because they're older but um, I love these and we also just went for the rest of the floor and stuff and so I wanted to have a couple more I think I had only picked up one because I can't find any other ones to try out but since they work so good now we have you know the ones that you can swap out as that one gets dirty because when I just kind of we either use paper towel and spray or um, the Swiffer so it kind of just depends and it's just nice to have extra I found more of these so I picked up a several the first time I found them but they have different scents and I looked up reviews and stuff on them I was really curious and these all have really good reviews and so the one that I had picked up before was like a sensitive one where these are cooling with b5 and aloe if you can see it without the glare and then this one which is even tone with b5 and vitamin c so i only picked up one of each they had a handful of both i'm hoping to find the one with coconut because when i looked at reviews there's a coconut one but um i used the one once i used it so my husband's holiday party was last weekend and it was really hot in there and I was wearing a flannel shirt and I got really warm and I don't think it works as good as my other deodorant in that situation. Um, but I'm willing to keep giving them a try just to see how well they work. This one says it instantly cools upon um, application so like on really hot days that would probably be really nice. And then this one says with skin conditioning ingredients to help with a more visibly even tone. And I did read about this when I read reviews and people did say that it really works for that if you have like any discoloration or anything going on on your skin and your armpits. I don't, but I wanted to try both of them out. So still looking for the one with coconut. And now I know to look at the different flavors, scents, types, whatever you would call that. Uh, I picked up some new body wash. I am using right now the... EAD one I can't remember the scent that I picked up I don't love the scent it's more floral than I like so I picked up both of these so this one is tropical scented and this one is coconut shea butter and they are by body organics um, moisturizing body wash they both say and they both say deep cleansing formula leaves skin softer and smoother it's funny because they say that they are body organics they're not necessarily organic when you look at the ingredients like it has red 33 in here and red 40 in here and I know the red colorings are not the best but they smelled really good I'm not like super particular about you know that kind of stuff but this one smells so good for the coconut like it smells like a pina colada kind of you know the coconut in the pina colada so I got that one and I like the tropical scents of um, body washes it looks kind of watery no, it smells really good too for the tropical scent but like if you look at it in here I mean you could tell it's like Dollar Tree body washes are always pretty watery um and this one has that jiggle like the move like it's pretty watery but I think they'll be fine we'll see how the that one too kind of has like the wateriness so they're not super thick but they never are from Dollar Tree this they smell good though and we'll see how they lather like i'm always curious how they'll lather i'm a washcloth user i've mentioned that before but if you're loofah or washcloth either way you try to lather them and see how they feel i picked up some tacks because all the kids have cork boards in their room that's kind of instead of hanging things all over the wall we let them hang whatever they want on their cork boards and they just always need tacks and i got lorelei some cute little like colorful ones that they recently put out from jot and I thought these ones would be good for the boys. And these are nice because they're like the thumbtack ones and they can hang things off of them or um, use them to hang things. So I'm going to let the boys know that I got them some new tacks for their cork boards for whatever they want to hang up. So, oh, and here's the cute ones I got from Lorelai. Um, I thought I already hauled them. I don't know why. So these are the ones I picked up from Lorelai. They are the new Jot ones. So they are colored pearl push pins. And I might get another set for me, but I don't have a cork board that I regularly use. I have a whole command thing that I need to hang on the wall. It's from Ikea. I bought it forever ago, but we've just never hung it up. We got to hang up a chandelier in my office and like we just have, we have revamping of all over. So things have just not been going on the walls. But um, yeah, so these are just really pretty. So I got these because I thought Lorelai would like them because they're kind of shimmery and cute so she got those I got those other ones that the boys can use and she could probably use some if she wants to as well 
Now for Eric in the tool section, he, again, he just gets really into things. So he kept asking Cameron, um, his dad, for different tool like items. And I was like, well, Dollar Tree like kind of has that kind of stuff. So I picked him up the hex key set and this screwdriver that is a 14 piece snaps into place carrying case magnetic base little mini screwdriver because he's just been wanting to play with little tools and stuff and I thought he would like both of those. Um, his birthday is coming up in May so we're a little ways out um, but I start you know buying as soon as I start hearing them say that they like certain things because then that way I don't forget although sometimes I lose where I hide stuff you know safely place um but so i thought that that was a good idea the other day we were having a hard time with the micro usb we have now after christmas so many things that need a micro usb cord i need more um bases i need more of the bricks but um and i know they sell them at dollar tree i just don't know how good they are at dollar tree but all of the kids have wireless earbuds that all use the micro usb to charge them they got um what else did we get that uses the micro usb Braxton has in his room several different lights like from five below um, and they come with a micro USB but they're usually a shorter cord where this one is nice and long so if he wants to put the light somewhere else and plug it in this will be useful. I only picked up one but now that I, I wasn't thinking of Braxton's lights when I picked it up. I had picked one up previously then I was thinking about it when I saw them again. I need to count and figure out how many we have versus how many we need because we can use the shorter ones for the wireless earbuds. Um, but they also, you know, have the USB-Cs. I picked up a handful of those as well because it's just such a good deal. So picked that up because we just have, we just have a need for them. Um, I did find this in the book section. It wasn't in the coloring book section. It was in like in the dollar or the uh, regular book section. My grandma is um, an avid color. She loves to color the adult coloring books and um, she has dementia now so she just doesn't have any long-term memory. It's like you know pretty short term right now where sometimes just within minutes she forgets but I thought that this would be such a nice coloring book for her because it's the one-sided and they are angels and I just thought of her instantly when I saw this because that's what she does is she likes to spend a lot of her time coloring and this was so nice of a book. It is it says includes 3D details, 50 plus glorious folk or art angel designs for inspirational coloring. So at least 50. It is Jim Shore is the artist. Oh, there's the 3D pieces. So at the very end, there's like these construction pieces that you color, and then it tells you page 37 this would go to and you can turn them into 3d pictures which also is really neat and so i don't know if everyone would have them or not but if you're into coloring it's definitely something to look for because what a good deal for a dollar 25 and so i'm going to give that to my grandma i found this i've already um hauled this once i have it for me it is the keto kitchen air fryer cookbook but someone had mentioned that her husband loves um follows keto a lot and that they would probably love this cookbook so i am going to share this with someone um let's see i think i probably told you retail price the first time i hauled it but if you weren't there and if we forgot because i obviously forgot not something i sort in my long-term memory um it retails for $19.99 guys and it was at the dollar tree and some of these recipes look so amazing I'm definitely gonna I don't do keto I have not done anything like I'm sure as you watch me if you watch me over time you've watched me gain weight but I will be starting Weight Watchers again in February I waited till February because January just I always say I'm gonna start and then it becomes a really hard month to start because we have the stock show that we go to and you're cleaning up everything from Christmas and there's all the leftovers sweets and treats and whatever else from Christmas so I'm starting in February I just figured for my life it's gonna be a better start for me but um, I think if it is keto and kind of trying to be healthy I might be able to find some good things in here and I have an air fryer so I always like to find good recipes and you can tweak anything to kind of fit so but this one is a gift I have one in my collection I also am curious actually now the asking price on this book because I forgot to do that 
right? Yeah, US. $15.99 for this coloring book. I got it for $1.25. Oh, what a good deal. Um, I picked up these bookmarks to give as gifts. Um, they are like the very like faith kind of religious based um, bookmarks. Wow, words are hard sometimes. Magnetic bookmarks. I liked them all. There is one that is very similar in both. So they're double sided and they are different. That one has two of the same. Either, either way, so they're faith based. They have little scriptures on them or little um, excerpts. So rejoice, always trust, be beautiful in hope. I have loved you with the everlasting love, grace, um, faith, love, hope. So rejoice always. So they're similar but different in both of these packs. So I picked up one of each. I'm going to give those away. Um, we picked these up for Eric because dinosaurs are his current love. I'll probably add this to his Valentine's Day gift. So it has over 150 stickers of dinosaurs. We have puffy stickers on the first page. There are glitter stickers. There are foil stickers and glossy stickers in this booklet. So... He's been super, super into dinosaurs. If you need to know anything about a dinosaur, ask me. I can ask him and he'll probably let you know because he's been so into them. So um, he'd probably like these. I don't know what he's going to put them on, but he'd probably like them. And now some food finds. Um, here's the rest of my baskets, the other three that were just were in a stack. So I was really excited because I've seen other people hauling these. They are the Bria, Bria um, kind of microwavable pasta done in 60 seconds. I can only find the penne pasta so far, so we picked up two just to test them out. But these are awesome because like Lorelai and Braxton, like if we're doing an easy dinner night, they love just butter noodles. And Braxton likes butter noodles with cheese on them. And this is even easier than boiling noodles because we'll just boil them, you know, spaghetti or thin spaghetti or just whatever noodles we have on hand. And this is an easy way to make butter noodles on those easy dinner nights. Eric loves orange chicken, like loves orange chicken. And we have found, I think it's the Panda Express orange chicken sauce at Walmart. And so he does chicken nuggets or a chicken patty and makes his own orange chicken. And sometimes we do microwavable rice if he wants rice. And then if he's doing that for dinner, the kids just want butter noodles or something quick and easy. So we're going to test these out, see how good they are. If I find anything other than penne, I'm going to pick it up too. But so far in a couple stores that I found these in, it's only been penne. But what an easy way to do dinner on those nights that you just need to do something quick and easy. And these don't expire until October of this year. So, such a good find for that. The rest, I think, are snacks. Let's see, we have a Snapple. My husband picked up a Snapple. Mango Madness. So, we went to the store on Saturday last week. I have been without a debit card still, um, waiting for the new one to come because I had some fraudulent activity on my account. But on last weekend, on my card got shut off on Sunday. So, on Saturday, we were able to go to the store. And um, we were on the way, to, actually, to his work holiday party his the Christmas party holiday party because they did it after Christmas this year and we didn't know if we were gonna have fun or not because you just never know it was at a place that we've never been to but it was pretty far away from us so we could either uber to and from it because drinking's involved or there was a hotel right across the parking lot and so we opted to stay at the hotel because we had a sitter we were able to opt for the hotel option so we picked up a bunch of snacks just in case we didn't have fun and we like we're gonna make you know make our appearance at the holiday party and then maybe go back to the room watch some tv and have some snacks we ended up having fun we were there until like two in the morning neither of us drink very often but we had we had drinks and and we stumbled our way back to the hotel and it was a fun night but so we have a bunch of snacks now because we bought them just in case so snapple was on his i didn't actually buy a drink so luckily i had lots of them at the holiday party um these were to bring back home he was like oh they have the lays stacks so he was excited. These are the type of thing. He'll take them to work with him and just have snacks, you know, at work and stuff. So we got the barbecue and the cheddar as well as the I think sour cream and onion. Yeah, sour cream and onion. Braxton loves these and Cameron loves these, my husband. Um, the other two kids say they like them, but they won't eat very many of them. So these are just nice to have on hand for some snacks. And then they had some more of these left. And so we picked them up. Um, Cameron, my husband, he loves the honey sesame, he likes sesame sticks. 
he's not he says he usually gets them in spicy so he's like yeah i'll try a pack of the honey ones because he gets i think they're just spicy ones i don't know but he likes the sesame sticks a lot i'm not a huge fan but he really likes them so he picked those up to try and then they had these ones again they are the sweet and spicy snack mix that has like peanuts and corn nuts and the sesame sticks um he hasn't tried them yet obviously we ended up staying at the party um and these don't expire until october of this year no september is the ninth ninth month october was the other thing i can't these were the ones i don't think i was able to find an expiration date i'd assume probably pretty similar it's always good to look at their expiration dates these aren't until september as well because they did have these are july so they need to get eaten just like a slight touch sooner in October they had um the host I don't know if they're hostess but like the mini cupcake bags or like the little kid like good for breakfast like little mini cupcakes and they expired like two days or something after the day we were there and they were the blueberry little muffins like in the little package I don't know what I can't remember the brand name but um, we didn't pick those up because they were almost expired um let's see so he picked up two of each of these so these are the ones I pulled out of the bag that we had in our little overnight bag that we had because we didn't didn't have them. So we got two of each of those bags and then we each picked up a moose munch. I didn't ever pick up any for me to eat. And moose munch, oh my gosh, it's so delicious. So I picked up the dark chocolate to snack on and he picked up on the caramel. I might have these for a snack after I'm done here with you guys because I never ate them that night. But we picked up some moose munch to snack on and then I picked up some plantain chips. Expiration date, best if used by November and December of 2023. Um, when I was in, was it Costa Rica? Was either, yeah, it was Costa Rica. Um, over the summer, I picked up the plantain chips and I liked them a lot. I thought they were gonna be the sweet ones, but they come in savory and sweet. And I had picked up the savory ones and oh my gosh, they were so good. So these are the savory ones, plantain chips, kettle cooked with sea salt. And they don't expire until November. And so when I saw them at Dollar Tree, I grabbed them to have them again because I really liked them in Costa Rica. So these, where are these made? Ecuador, product of Ecuador. Um, Munch King is the brand. I don't know anything about that brand. It's not the brand that I got in Costa Rica, but I thought that they would be good. So that is everything today for you in this haul. I hope you enjoyed. Again, don't forget to hit the like button. Leave a comment down below. Subscribe if you haven't already. Hit that bell button. I hope you're having a wonderful, wonderful weekend um, right now and enjoying everything. And I can't wait until I see you next time. Bye, guys.